So what I'm doing is I'm developing uh, shading and creases in the row. And I do it not by trying to be exact, but by just using abstract shapes and sometimes some odd colors. Like not just, you know, black. Black isn't the only color that can express a crease or a shade. I've got reds, I've got blues, I've got purples, browns. Whoop! I just got a little bit of orange in my brush. And it's all okay. So, but instead of, you know, putting in each little line as a crease, I'm just kind of throwing some lines in there. And then I fix it later. I worry about it later. In all my videos, I talk, talk about how it's all fixable. Because it is. This one little crease is not going to make a big difference. Because I'll throw that down and once it's dry, I may want to cut in with oranges or reds and then pop that crease back out again. But that's the thing is, not trying to be exact, especially not at this stage. You know, it's, it's okay to just kind of throw some, throw some odd shapes in there, throw some odd colors in there and see what happens. But I feel confident in doing this because I have taken figure drawing class. Not taken figure drawing class, pardon me. I, uh, when I was a kid, I took, when I was a kid, when I was a, 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 excuse me, a high school student, I started taking figure drawing classes. And I obsessed over it. I wasn't very good, but I took figure drawing classes and I obsessed over drawing the figure and trying to understand it. And it, you know, it's not something that I, I grasped, grasped it, did it? even within a year or two. It took me forever to be, to feel comfortable enough to know that that's her shoulder, how her tr shoulder drops, how that crease is going to fall because her shoulder drops and because it might be pushed forward a little bit. It took me forever to realize that people's shoulders aren't straight like this. It's a simple thing. It also took me forever to realize that people don't necessarily stand board straight. There's going to be a, a hump in the back. That when you know when a person juts up their chin, their, this part of their chest is going to come forward a little bit. And then also to express a certain kind of attitude, the shoulders will drop. So I'm confident in the shapes because, in the abstract shapes, because I took a figure drawing class, or I took figure drawing for years until I felt comfortable with it. And now I know that, and now I also know, sorry, that whatever I put down today doesn't really matter. It'll be okay. I can just go back in and, let's say, kind of scoop out a couple of colors and make her pop forward, or the figure drawing classes, or wipe it off and try again. The figure drawing classes are the things that gave me, gave me confidence, because if you can understand that vessel that you're in, your own figure, you can understand pretty much anything. Although I really have a terrible time drawing and painting cars. That to me is a whole other animal, but it shouldn't be. It should be okay. It should be, it's the same thing. We know how it feels. We know how it feels to be solid and low to gr the ground. You know, we know how it feels to be carried by a car. It should be the same, but it's not for me. Not quite. It's a lot of shiny bits. Hmm. And now looking at this, I know that her hip is out too, too far. She looks like she has no boobs, and her hip is out too far. So what I'm going to do is wipe this, take some of that darkness off, and put in some white. I'm going to make her sleeve. Her hip is still too wide, too low.
but it's not because I want her to be a um, Heidi Klum figure. I want her to be uh, I want her to be herself. I want her to have her own figure, her um, her own definition. But at the same time, even in that definition, uh, she's going to have uh, something more than just you know big gigantic hips sticking out or a stomach. She should have some indication of breasts in there. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that over, put in a line that says, hello, there's a boob right there. I don't need to be that obvious, I guess is the thing. So what I might want to do, yeah, is pull her arm back a little bit. Pull her sleeve back. See? So it's all fixable. As I keep saying in all my videos, it's all fixable. So I think that's what I'm going to do is pull her sleeve back a little bit, reshape it, keep putting in abstracts that allow abstract shapes and abstract darks that allow her to, some of her to push back so some of her pops out again. And I think too, I've got these flowers in her vest, in her kimono. I like the outlines around them. Around, sorry, I like the outlines around the flower petals, just a little bit. And then when when I go to light and everything, it's going to help me to highlight and help them to pop out. Anyway, my time in the studio is done. I have to run and catch a bus. Take a figure drawing class, feel the figure, once you can feel the figure and you understand the shapes, how it moves, you'll be able to put in the abstracts and not worry about it. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Who knows? Ciao.